right. We've been talking about it for days now, and now it has a name. Of course, uh, naming winter storms uh, Channel 3 tradition that dates back to 1971, so almost uh, 50 years now strong naming winter storms. And uh, we need to be forecasting at least six inches of snow or more for most of Connecticut, and that is certainly the case with Abel. Here is the very latest again, uh, kind of in summary, kind of just to give you the, the bullet points here. Starting midday Sunday, so no issues today, no issues tomorrow, and even if you're, you're going to be traveling Sunday, do so early in the day because conditions will be deteriorating as the day moves forward. It is going to be a long duration high impact storm lingering through Monday, Monday night before exiting and wrapping up early Tuesday morning. So depending upon the track and our models are certainly coming into an agreement with regard to the timing and as well the track uh, to some extent, uh, you know, and, and just a shift of the track uh, by 25, 30 miles could mean a whole lot of difference with regard to precipitation type and amounts. But the way we see it now, uh, inland parts of Connecticut starting off with snow going over to a mix and then snow to end. It will also end as snow on the shoreline, but that's after starting as a mix and going over to a chilly rain. And we could see anywhere from two inches in southeastern Connecticut to well over a foot in the northwest hills. We'll have more on that in just a moment. Right now, if you're doing some Black Friday shopping, running some errands, uh, spending time with family, traveling today, uh, no weather concerns really. We've got uh, chilly temperatures uh, running a little bit below average. Uh, high today will be between 40 and 45. We're currently in the upper 30s and low 40s, even low 30s now in the northwest hills. And these winds, they remain up, but certainly not as strong as yesterday when we had gusts between 40 and 50 miles an hour. But the wind is clearly making it feel even colder wind chill values in the 20s and low 30s and we can expect more of the same through this afternoon. So we've got some scattered high clouds that are going to be making their way across uh, southern New England this afternoon. But looking at the big picture as uh, one area of low pressure moves out, high pressure is building in, bringing us the clear dry conditions for today and tomorrow. Uh, winter storm Abel in its early stages, we've got an area of low pressure across the Great Lakes. It's going to take a track up across the northern plains and then the Great Lakes. Then a secondary storm is going to be developing off the mid Atlantic coast and it's that one that's going to really further enhance the potential for this wintry precipitation and for it to be a uh, heavy at time. So uh, given the storm track, we already have winter storm watches, winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, and even blizzard warnings throughout parts of uh, the, the, the northern plains. So again, it's later in the weekend that we'll likely see um, weather alerts posted for us here in southern New England. So here's future cast again, run down the uh, the models for you. This is the European model start you off at seven o'clock Saturday evening. Clouds generally will be on the increase again. No issues Saturday evening. No issues Sunday morning, but it's late morning, early afternoon that snow and that wintry icy mix begins to break out. Uh, and that uh, shade of pink uh, makes its way a little bit farther inland as we head toward later Sunday night uh, with uh, even some rain mixing in for coastal and southeast Connecticut. The northwest hills likely going to see this as snow from essentially beginning to end. And you can see the uh, mix line up toward the 84 corridor by early Monday morning. Then it's all over to snow that could be moderately heavy uh, as we head toward Monday afternoon and evening before before again wrapping up early uh, in the day on on Tuesday. Uh, so here's the GFS. This model is slightly milder, uh, bringing that rain uh, mix line farther inland as we look at future cast here at 10 o'clock uh, Sunday night, making its way that rain much farther uh, north into Connecticut and lingering a little bit longer. So this would produce less in the way of accumulating snow if this model were to come to fruition. Uh, but nonetheless, back over to snow uh, as it wraps up Monday night into early Tuesday morning. So uh, again, with the the general idea here uh, from beginning to end for interior portions of the states we'll see snow over that icy mix and then back over to snow to end and then throughout coastal and southeast Connecticut uh, we'll see a period of rain uh, and that's going to reduce those totals uh, throughout southeastern Connecticut that's why we're going two to five inches there uh, but upwards of uh, six to twelve inches maybe even well over a foot if some of our models were to uh, verify for the northwestern part of our state. So on our seven day forecast and this all starts on Sunday wraps up early Tuesday then Wednesday Thursday looking a little bit a little bit better uh, in here by then. So in the meantime, today, tomorrow, we're looking great weather-wise for errands you have to run, or if you're going to go uh, chop down your own tree, yeah, mm -hmm. you're good to go. Or at least tag the tree. There you go. All right, thanks, Mark. <laughs> of course.